Hi everyone, this is Killshot from 99 Gaming, The Walking Dead Comics, issue number 93, Red and Explained, aka Comics with Killshot. First, I'm going to catch up on issue number 92, and then I'm going to make a couple brief channel announcements. So in issue number 92, Rick met Jesus. They finally gave him the opportunity to speak. He started talking about trade routes and other communities, and then he famously said, your world's about to get a whole lot bigger. And secondly, I want to thank all the new subscribers. This time of year brings back some of the people we haven't seen in a long time and brand new faces. This channel has a lot of different stuff. It has live streams, spoilers, hidden clues, comic book reads, Walking Dead video gameplay. We do have some sister channels set up as well, and that's what I want to talk about. We have 999 Comics, so some of these comics will start to transition over there. I'll leave a link to subscribe below. And also, as an announcement, I will do an unedited vulgar version of uh, when Negan introduces himself. It's only going to be available on that channel. And also we set up 999 plays yesterday. There'll be some new releases, some gaming talk, some live streams with gaming, a little bit of everything for everybody. And also if you leave comments below on this channel, we have a 999 spoiler chat, which uh, will go in and evaluate some of your comments, talk about other people's comments to your comments, so on and so forth. If you're new to the comics, you can start all the way over. This was a challenge for my subscribers to start with issue number one. So we've done 92 comic reads up to this point, and we're still going strong. So here we go. This is issue number 93, A Larger World, part one. We don't think we're the only survivors left, but we haven't exactly run into many organized groups. Let me get this straight. You've got a network of communities that trades goods and communicates with each other, and you'd like us to join this community? That's exactly right. Okay, what's the next step for us then? I'll escort some of you back to the hilltop so you can see what we have to offer and introduce you to Kenneth. He's the guy in charge. I'll show you a clear route between here and the hilltop you can use for trade. Get you set up. Okay then. Sounds simple enough. Let's get started. Really? That was easy. How could we refuse? What? Wham! Why did... Crack! Not quite as easy as Jesus thought. Tie him up before he comes to. I don't want to put the whole community in a panic, so we're going to keep this between us for now. we got a man held in the back of the infirmary. He claims he's from a much larger community that wants to negotiate some kind of trade deal with us. I don't buy it. He's saying there's roughly 200 people in his group. If that's true, they could be preparing for an attack at any moment. I don't want to needlessly alarm anyone. Right now, we're just preparing for the worst. If they want this place, we're not going down without a fight. I need everyone to move quickly if this is going to happen. It could happen soon. Here's what I need you all to do. Abraham, you're on perimeter watch. I want you to start placing people on the wall, armed, keeping watch. Tell them to stay low, out of sight. Andrea, I need you up in the tower. We've got a clear vantage point up in the surrounding area up there. If you see something when you get in place, fire off a warning shot. If you see nothing, just sit tight and watch the area. Michonne, first you're going to escort Andrea to the tower. I don't want anyone to be out there alone. Once she's in place and you're sure you weren't seen, come back here and help Abraham with perimeter watch. Olivia, I want you to do an updated inventory on guns and ammo, what we have, where it is, how low we are on things. Check in with everyone, see what they're keeping in their homes. Don't let on why you're doing it, just get the information. Eugene, you're a smart guy. We're running out of ammo. It's inevitable. Your job is to come up with alternatives. In the short term, what do we have to help us defend this place? Keep people off the walls. Boiling oil kind of stuff. Denise, just get the infirmary ready. Prepare a triage center of some kind. An army of roamers is one thing. An army of people is another. Be ready for anything. I did an inventory not too long ago on our ammunition. We were running low then. We found some when the group was out last week. But we just don't have enough to hold off any kind of assault. I know. You let me worry about that. You just find out exactly how dire things are. I'm on top of it. Rick, just a moment, please. Yeah, you already got something for me? Not yet. No, I have ideas, but nothing concrete. There are, just take comfort knowing, there are a lot of options. I'm just organizing my thoughts now. I'll present you with a detailed list shortly. 
need to get all my ducks in a row. Long term, though, I just wanted to let you know it's not impossible for us to make our own bullets. We need to start saving our spent casings. I know a little bit about bullet reloading and casting is not the most complex process. Assuming we get through this, I could get us up and running very shortly. Best news I've heard all day. That would certainly fix a few of our problems. I'm looking forward to hearing more when you're ready. Thanks. It'll feel good to be pulling my weight around here. Yeah. Rick? I'm heading out now. Just before I go, I wanted to say, I know you're just being cautious, and that's good. You should be. But this guy's offering us supplies, and from what you say, he could just be trying to make contact with us. And that can't be easy, so... What are you saying? What if he's right? If he's part of this community, and what if what he's saying is true? The last thing we want to do is piss them off. How long do you plan on keeping me here like this? As long as we have to. I get it. You know, it's scary out here in the world. You got a guy telling you about a better place, a new way of life. Why would you believe him? I do this because I can handle it, this job. I try not to take it personally. You're just trying to protect your people. Just do your digging and don't keep me tied up for too long. I'd rather not end up pissing myself. How close is your group? When do they plan to attack? Man, my group is 20 miles away. And they don't attack anyone. I'm sorry, but I just don't believe you. Well? See anything? No, nothing. All's quiet. A few roamers here and there. Nothing to worry about. No large groups, no sign of any gathering armies, as far as the eye can see. Rick, did you talk to him? I did. He speaks clearly and confidently, even though he's restrained, helpless. That's not a good sign to me. The guilty man sleeps in a cell while the innocent one climbs up the walls with worry, unable to relax. He's hiding something. His demeanor is setting off all kinds of alarms. And yet, I don't see anything out here that should cause us any concern. Maybe they know our line of sight and are avoiding it. Maybe we're not looking hard enough. Eugene, what's going on? We're all out of our minds with worry about this new group, and you're excited about something. Rick's got everything under control. When are you going to realize that? I've got a plan that will help us, a way to replenish our ammunition. I found a place in the phone book that's nearby. should have the majority of what I need. I'm going to get Abraham to take me over there. Holly coming too? Rosita, please, just forget him, okay? He never cared for you. Not like you did for him. Not like I do. I know you've been lonely these last few weeks. I can make you happy. I know what you like. If you'd only let me try. Eugene, I'm sorry. Oh, we missed that side of Eugene. A little bit of flashback from uh, season number seven. Rick is on the warpath. Here we go. Make no mistake, we're bait. Andrew doesn't think these people are out there. She can't see them. If they're there, we're going to draw them out. She's watching over us. We'll stay in her line of sight. She should be able to cover our retreat back to the community if they attack us. But stay alert. So we get shot. And then our people on the other side of the wall know that we're screwed. That the idea? You might just be a crappy leader, Rick. If Andrew is right, there's not a soul out there. Even if she's wrong, idea is we don't get shot. They do. Okay, we're baked. But do we really want them to hear us coming with enough time to ambush us? So we probably should cut the chatter. Noted. Shook. 
Don't go too far away. I can't see you. Anything? No. Area's clear. I'm not ready to give up. Keep moving. Dang it. Stay close. Keep quiet. If they're out here in hiding, they should be close. Keep your eyes out for any new signs of scavenging. If they were out here, they would have looked for supplies. Look for anything disturbed, anything that's been recently moved. Look around us. No one's been through here in months, Rick. Then we double back, head towards the community, but through a different area. They're out here. Rick. Dang. Rick, step aside. No, we got to keep things quiet. Grah! Ram. No, I can do this. Swish. Michonne, Abraham. Shook. Okay. Rock. My God, what are we doing? I don't follow. This. We're still doing this. After all this time, putting ourselves in danger, killing the dead. This is our life, this. Think about it. Anybody break a sweat just now? I was about as startled by this, I would be changing a tire. This part, the dead walking, dealing with that, we've got that down. Now, I think it's time for something else. This guy, Jesus, his people are either waiting to attack or they're not. Truth be told, I'm not even scared of that. Maybe this is arrogance, but after everything, I feel like we'd have a hard time finding anyone more dangerous than we are. I think that... Rick? Come on. This way. Our community's safe. The walls are strong. We can make a life here, but we need resources and a steady stream of supplies to keep us going. Maybe that's out there, other groups, communities, like ours, like he says. We could be scared of it, like I was at first. Or we can look at it as an opportunity, a way to keep us going. We could work with these people out there, make our world safer, our lives better. Safe behind those walls, but I think we've lost sight of what's out there on the other side. Larger world. Look at it. It's all around us, waiting on us to become a part of it again. We just have to be brave enough to accept it. There's a chance this guy's right. We were cautious, but we haven't found his people out here. They aren't waiting to strike. All indications are that he's telling the truth. If they end up being good people, we'll work with them. If not, we'll just take everything they have and leave them for dead. And that is the end. The Walking Dead comics issue number 93. You can see a little of this arrogance that started up in season number 7 on the television show. And we know how that played out. We have a good idea how it's going to play out in the comics. Once again, if you're new to the comics, check back some of the previous issues and follow along. I'm having a lot of fun with this. Thanks to everyone for being patient. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave your thoughts and comments below. And I will talk to you all soon. Peace.